Hi, I'm Michael from ETS. Today on Inside the TOEFL Test, we're going inside the TOEFL IBT listening section, specifically the GIST content and GIST purpose questions. The GIST of something is the main point or key idea. In the TOEFL IBT test, GIST content questions ask you to identify the main topic or idea of the listening conversation or lecture. GIST purpose questions ask you to identify what the main purpose of the conversation or lecture is. You can recognize GIST content and GIST purpose questions because they use phrases like mainly about, mainly discussing, why does the student, or what is the main purpose. Here are two things to keep in mind when answering just content and just purpose questions. In the listening section, there will always be either a just content question or a just purpose question, but never both. This question will always be the first question after listening to the passage. Also, sometimes the lectures and conversations can have two main ideas. In this case, the just content or just purpose question may ask you to choose two of the four answer options instead of just one. Let's look at some sample GIST content and GIST purpose questions. First, we'll listen to part of a conversation between a coach and a student, catching up on what happened while the student was away. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, coach. I just thought I'd stop by to see what I missed while I was gone. Well, we've been working real hard on our plan for the next game. I've asked Susan to go over it with you before practice this afternoon, so you'll know what we're doing. Okay. By the way, how did your brother's wedding go? Oh, it was beautiful. And the whole family was there. I saw aunts and uncles and cousins I hadn't seen in years. So it was worth the trip. Oh, definitely. I'm sorry I had to miss practice, though. I feel bad about that. Family's very important. Yep. Okay, uh, I guess I'll see you this afternoon at practice, then. Just a minute. There are a couple of other things I need to tell you. Oh, okay. Um, first, everybody's getting a new team jacket. Wow. How'd that happen? Uh, a woman who played here about 20, 25 years ago came through town a few weeks ago and saw a game and said she wanted to do something for the team, so... So she's buying us new jackets? Yep. Wow, that's really nice of her. Yes, it is. It's great that former players still care so much about our school and our basketball program. Anyway, you need to fill out an order form. I'll give it to you now so you can bring it back this afternoon. I've got the forms from the other players, so as soon as I get yours, we can order. Maybe we'll have the jackets by the next game. Okay. Great. And the next thing is, you know Mary's transferring to another college next week, so we'll need someone to take over her role as captain for the second half of the season. And the other players unanimously picked you to take over as captain when Mary leaves. Wow. I saw everybody this morning and nobody said a word. They wanted me to tell you. So do you accept? Of course. So an example of a GIST content question for this passage is, what are the speakers mainly discussing? And an example of a GIST purpose question is, why does the student go to see the coach? Whichever question is asked, you can figure out the answer by focusing on the main point of the conversation or lecture. The female student tells us her reason for going to see the coach in the early part of the conversation when she says this. I just thought I'd stop by to see what I missed while I was gone. That tells us both the main idea of the conversation and why she went to see the coach. So for both questions, the best answer is C. Here's a tip for improving your listening skills. Listen to academic lectures in English as much as possible. Be sure to listen to lectures in various subject areas, science, social science, business, arts, literature. You can search online for universities that post their lectures for free. Start with short lectures on topics you are familiar with, then build up to longer ones on topics that are not familiar to you. Listen to the same lecture multiple times if you need to. There are lots of ways to improve your English skills. Whatever you do, keep practicing. And good luck on your TOEFL test. <laughs>